it's one of those tough things, obviously. But I think, um, you know, from, from a team standpoint, it, it's one of those things that we just got to roll um, with, with obviously who we have and we can't have, um, you know, let any other distractions kind of come into play in, in that sense and, and just go out there and, and execute and compete with, with who we got. Um, and I think everyone um, re respects that. Um, and as for Marcus, yeah, it, it's one of those things. I think he might be the longest uh, teammate that, that I've had um, in, in my career throughout the NBA in Portland and, and in San Antonio. So, um, you know, he, he's obviously well respected um, with this group in particular um, and, and every team that he, he's played for. So, you know, you, you, as a teammate, you just wish um, the, the best for him and hope that the next um, chapter of his journey, you know, works out for, for him. Um, he's a hell of a player, hell of a pro, um, you know, and, and he's shown his ability to be able to be, you know, a multi-year all-star with which he is. Um, and again, you know, that, that's the opportunity that, that he has. So for us as a team, um, it, it's one of those decisions that, that happen and we've just got to focus on, on ourselves and what we can do to be able to um, move forward together as a team and, and make, a, make a good hard crack here for, for the playoffs. I love that every opportunity, um, you know, that we've had with him in the locker room and, and on the floor. Um, but, but he's well respected and I think that's one of the, the biggest thing, our biggest compliments, I think, as a as a player, is, is to gain that respect from from your teammates. Um, you know, on on certain teams, um, and he definitely had that um, throughout his whole time here in San Antonio. Um, and and for him moving on, I'm sure that will be the same thing, no matter no matter where he goes.